All right, heading into the Moody Gardens Visitor Center. Hey everybody, Tom here from Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I'm at Moody Gardens in Galveston, Texas. It's the southern point of Texas coast. I am doing both pyramids. Going to be doing the Rainforest Pyramid coming up right now. Let's go see what this thing is all about. Let's see the Rainforest of the World. All about the rainforests. Gonna be lots of different enclosures with animals that you will find in the rainforest. There's just a really, really nice looking froggy that I saw. It's a Borneo eared frog. I get a little better view. The leaves are kind of blocking them, but yeah, you can see them. There's our Borneo eared frog. Oh, this one has a panther. Chameleon. He's up on top. Looks so like an iguana. Of course, we got a green tree python. He's up there. Really awesome coloring. If you like the color green, that is. Yeah, pygmy slow loris. This cute little fuzzy guy here. One of the other guests was nice enough to point him out. Actually, back behind. You can see him moving. There's a couple of them there. If you see the size of the enclosure, I back up, you'll see why it took time to find this thing. And the guy just happened to find it before I did. A giant river otter. And there they are. Just got out of the water. Figures as soon as he saw my camera, they like got out of there. This is River Otter's enclosure. Just from the upstairs, you can see how large this thing is. And they're over in the water. There's one of them right there. And the other one. That's why I couldn't see them because they were playing in the water. Treetop trail. Zoom in. Make it easier for you guys to read this if you choose to. All right, as soon as I walked in the door inside the actual pyramid, the blast of heat hit me. Being it's a rainforest, they keep the temperature pretty high. Because that's what a natural feel of a pyramid would be. So be prepared for that if you come here, that it is really, really warm in here. You can see how it all looks. With lots of different plant life and other animals. Speaking of animals, there's a cute little monkey here. Hi, monkey. Back. There we go, there we go. Hi, monkey. Hi, buddy. What's up? Hey, monkey, how you doing? And according to this sign here, it is a white-faced sake. And I assume he's hanging on here because this duct work that he's on is probably nice and cool to the touch. There's little air vents all around it with cool air blowing out. You see, you walk along the boardwalk, and there's various signs up that let you know the type of plant life that you're seeing, like African oil palm, 
which be this right here. Let's see different types of birds they have in there also. Just chilling out on the vines. Really nice looking in here. You might have seen palm trees if you're from like Florida and California. But this is an actual coconut palm. You can see the coconuts growing at the top. Florida's palm trees do not grow coconuts. You have very temperature gauge in here to let you know what the weather in Galveston is. And the weather in the Rainforest Pyramid. Not showing up really good on the camera, but it's 97 degrees inside here and 47% humidity. This enclosure has some bats in it. Rodriguez fruit bat. See one kind of hanging there. And there's another one down on the ground. Kind of hard to get. But that's him on the way on the floor. Alright, so the white face sake that we saw earlier was obviously the male, and this is a female. He does not have the nice white face. But she's still cute and fuzzy nonetheless. I'm gonna go see the cloud forest. Do these doors, hopefully it's air conditioned. Yeah, it says cloud forests are cool, which is good. Grow high up in the misty mountains, so they are usually above the cloud line. Got some cute little froggies in here. But these are poison dart frogs. There's one of them. There's another one, like black and yellow. Cool looking. Here's another one in the back of the enclosure. This super colorful snake. It's called a palm viper. And I found another one in the back. Give a nice description of the rainforests. Tropical rainforests have four layers, the dimly lit forest floor, canopy, and the roof of the rainforest. Going down these stairs, they have the four layers, the emergent layer is 130 to 200 feet, the canopy is 60 to 130 feet. Understory is ground to 60 feet. And then of course the forest floor is zero feet because it's on the ground. See as darkness falls, forest animals awaken. Eight p.m. to 10 p.m. We'll start to get up and forage for food and climb. Glide, 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. Got some tailed porcupines in here. Climbing all around. He was just out there. There's one on the floor. It never fails. Every time I bring out my camera, these things run and hide. Here we go. There we go. Just want to show you so you guys don't think I'm crazy telling you about all these animals that you don't see. Cool. These guys are easier to find because you see the branches rustling. You know where to look. Got a Madagascar giant jumping rat. It's hard to see. You saw me take my camera out, and he's up there hiding. There's another one in this little log, sleeping. 
You can see the top part of them with the shadow. It came out. And I don't know if they teach these things, you know, that someone gets a camera to run. Or what the deal is, but wow. Seems like every time I take my camera out, they run for cover. It's a giant jumping rat of Madagascar. Not like any rat I've ever seen. We got leaf tail geckos. I know it's gonna be hard to see because of the low light, but this is him right here. And there's another one that's on this glass. Let me move around so you can maybe see him. You can kind of see the outline of him, the shadow right there. Very low light. Well, right, we're at back to the heat and humidity. Luckily for me, the lower portion on the ground is a lot cooler than the upper part of the canopy, that which is extremely hot. Nice bird right here. So, like, looking at me, like, "Hey, what are you looking at, buddy?" Say hi to the camera. That's a very nice looking Komodo dragon. And I see him right here. Komodo dragon. He's kind of looking over at me. What's up, buddy? He seems thrilled. Got a crocodile monitor. He's up on the, the back mesh of his enclosure. Can't really get a better view than this because of all the plant life. Got lots of nice looking fish. As you can see from the lower part of the rainforest and it's so much cooler down here than it was up on that platform. It's gotta be a good 30 degrees cooler on the lower part. That's just my guess anyway. Got these beautiful looking birds. Wow. That's some nice colors. Looks good on you, bird. Good combination. Now this little bird I was trying to show you a minute ago, when I was looking at the Komodo dragon, I asked him to wait, he ran up to me. I guess I insulted him because he ran off. But he came back out. All right, moving on to the America's Trail. Saw another bird. Hopefully I'll find a sign a little bit later on saying what all these little birds are called. We're digging for some bugs maybe. I stated earlier signs all around let you know what type of plants that you're looking at. Two birds here on the other side. There's a gate here that I can't get through. Apparently it's only for workers. There's kind of cool, got a cool mohawk. Ocelot. So it looks like all in the back. Because I'm here with my camera. He's being camera shy, as usual. Up and about a little bit more. There you go. And there he goes. On this water, you got two lovely macaws. Looks like a green parrot. So 
on the cars. No, I'm sorry, that's a green macaw. I thought that was a parrot. Yeah, that's another one. Very nice. I love their colors. These lovely orange birds. Uh oh. That one didn't like the other one coming closer. Yeah. Made little squeaky noises. Say, like, hey, buddy. This is my spot. Ooh, cute little squeaky noises. You see how the walkway. You got it where it blends in. Which I think is a really nice touch. See a couple tortoises. Showing up. They got their heads poking out. I got a little closer to the water where I just saw our tortoises. You get down these few steps and you see the lower level or water line, rather. Little jumbo fish. You see our our macaws. Now I didn't even notice there was two of the green ones. Because the vantage point I was at before you couldn't see the other one. But you can see the stingray with the yellow spots. And the other ones with the gray colors. Giant fish. Cute little duck. Hi, duck. Hi, ducky, ducky. Nibbling on some stuff. Nibble, nibble, nibble. See more of the rays and some catfish. Another tortoise. There's our waterfall. Up above. This is really cool the way they have this. Looks like a ancient temple ruins. Go check out an Egyptian fruit bat. That's what it looks like. Alright, found all of our baddies. They're all in the back. If I zoom in too much, the light changes so you can't see them. But that is them. All right there. That's, that's like five or six different bats. And they got a nice enclosure. Lots of different places to hang from. Got one of those orange birds up on the vine that I showed you right at the beginning. So about the Mayan people, the Maya. All right, we got a green anaconda. Giant snakies. I'm trying to get a good vantage point where I didn't have a reflection on the glass. But that is our anaconda right there. Very nice. Curled up, taking a nap. Got red belly piranhas. There's one of them. Now, despite what horror movies lead people to believe that piranha attack anything that comes in contact with the water where they are, that it's simply not true. Humans have been known to swim in waters that have piranha and do not come out with their flesh removed. But 
they do have super sharp teeth. So they would be capable of removing the flesh off of a person. Back portion of the waterfall. Really nice looking. Yeah, common vampire bats. And there they are. They're so cute and fuzzy. Just a little more right by the glass. Another little one right here. That cute little face. So vampire bats are stealthy hunters. They'll approach their prey, usually livestock. And once they bite their prey, their saliva prevents the blood from coagulating. So they're able to just, you know, lap the blood up. We got a Jamaican boa. Would you like snacks? It's kind of a small snake. Well, due to the size of the enclosure, they couldn't have a really large one, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Well, we made it up to the African Trail. Let's go see what kind of stuff we can find. Look at this beautiful bird walking up to me. Hello, how are you? Wow. Hi. Yeah, I love your colors. It's a nice fancy hairdo also. Hi, thank you for showing up. That's a nice fish. In this little enclosure. And you got a fence up there keeping them from going anywhere else. Conservation action. Describing what people are trying to do to reverse some of the damage done by humans, unfortunately, to the rainforest ecosystem. Good portion of the Earth's oxygen is created from the rainforest. At the same time, the rainforest plants remove a large amount of carbon dioxide so unlike humans that breathe oxygen and give off carbon dioxide, plants absorb the carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. So if we kill off all the rainforest, we're basically killing off ourselves. Got some sailfin lizards. There's a couple in here. Got one over here, and then another one right up there. Just hanging out on the branches, relaxing. So this rainforest pyramid is very popular with school groups because it's educational. So there's signage all around in addition to signs letting you know what type of plant species you're looking at. A lot of other small animals have signage as well. All right, we got a Brazilian Fertilant Schneck. Yeah, I like the snakies. And I found a snakey up here sleeping. Not that snakes move around a lot, but that's him. Let's see what he looks like. Got an Emerald Tree Boa. And a Bushmaster Snake. And I found an Emerald Tree Boa. And our Bushmaster snake is down on the floor. Stood up to try to get a little better view. I think I succeeded. We got a Meller's Chameleon. And there he is. Or she. We don't specify if they are male or female. But this is the Miller's Chameleon. This tank has Oxalati. Trying to get a good view of them. They're all right here. 
kind of the dark part of the tank. But you can still kind of see them. It's very, very good advice. All right, guys, that was the Rainforest Pyramid here at Moody Gardens in Galveston, Texas. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun. Very, very hot inside at the upper part, as I said. But it was still really nice to see. I also did the Rainforest Pyramid. So if you'd like to go back and see the Rainforest Pyramid video, you can find it with this video. Please like and subscribe, guys. Leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up really helps me to get my channel noticed. People leave comments and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let your friends know about it. Help me out. I can go to more places, do more things to entertain you guys, the visitors to my channel and the viewers. Whether you subscribe to me or not, thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.